And we continue our series COVID in the classroom, talking with school districts about their plans for the beginning of the school year. Fox News' Catherine Hessel spoke with the superintendent of the Bayless School District. It's a smaller district about its plan for the fall. There are about 1700 students in the Bayless School District. It's only about three square miles. Now they were really trying to figure out a way to get some students back in the classroom, but the superintendent tells me it looks like they'll be all virtual like many other districts. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? There will not be any in-person storytelling in the Bayless School District to start the year. The Superintendent Ron Tucker says on Wednesday he will be recommending to the board that they go all virtual for the first quarter. We we're trying to hold out as long as we could. But unfortunately, it looks like indeed we will have to begin the year virtually. Tucker says he's confident the board will approve this recommendation, and they sent a letter to parents last week letting them know that this is the direction where they're headed. I feel for our community. I feel for our, our, our parents. I especially feel for our children. No one imagined we'd be in this situation, and uh, it's, a, it's probably the toughest situation I've been in as a superintendent. As a smaller school district, Bayless will have an easier time social distancing when students do go back to the classroom. Tucker says in the hybrid approach, when some students are in the classroom on certain days, they'll only have about eight students per classroom. Now they waited to make a final decision about the start of school because they were really hoping to make this work. One of the reasons we're, we've been waiting was hopeful that uh, we would start to see a decline in uh, COVID cases in the area. Unfortunately, that's not happening at this time. So for now, young Bayless students will have story time online. Now Tucker is also recommending that they move the start date of school back a week to September 1st. This will give teachers a little bit more time to prepare for online learning. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hessel.